thank you so much for your company this morning. Well, season two of the Married at First Sight New Zealand experiment is just about all over. We just have the reunion to go, and that is going to be some exciting mm. TV right there. We're joined now by Taylor to find out how it all went. It is great to have you here on the cafe, Thank Taylor. Thank you very much. Thank Welcome. you so much. First up, can you believe it's just about all over? Um, yeah, it's um, been a crazy ride, really. I yeah. bet it has. <laughs> <laughs> to, to be honest, when the show's over, it might be a little bit of... A sad moment, but yeah. no, oh. it's, um, it's been crazy. Okay, so look, um, there's lots to talk about because w- what an exciting episode on Tuesday. But first, for those that perhaps don't know much about you, just tell us a bit more about you. Where you're from, what do you do, what made you into this com- uh, this, this show? <laughs> <laughs> Not a competition, Mike. <laughs> um, uh, so I'm living in Christchurch, um, apprentice Sparky, um, and just... Pretty much had nothing to lose coming on the show, so I had a very open mind, and it's been, you know, like I say, it's been bloody crazy. So, <laughs> so how and, was your love life beforehand? Like, what was it? What was your history? Um, so I've only came out to uh, my parents uh, probably about three or four years ago. Okay. Um, so my gay love life, I guess, um, has been relatively new. Mm. Yeah. He hasn't had much experience. Yeah. <laughs> no, so, so were there people that didn't know you were gay? And is that sort of, you know, a brave move coming out on national television as well, I guess? Um, well, I, I just, I'm not a huge fan of the um, the label of having to come out and um, the gay label as well. So by all means, you don't go up to someone and say, hey, my name's Taylor, I'm gay. You, True. And I don't expect someone to come up to me and say, hey... I'm, I'm male, I'm so, heterosexual. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, <laughs> then that makes it hard to beat people, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. So you've got to try and work it out. At least the yeah. show's done half of that yeah. for you. Yeah. Yeah. So you are married to Samuel. Uh, now, Tuesday's episode, let me just get Ooh. this straight. <laughs> Broke up at the beginning. Yeah. By the end of it, though, you were holding hands going into that dinner. What's going on? Uh, so basically what we needed to do is we literally had to put our heart on the table and say, look, we need to have a good chat because, as you can see, during the um, during the season, it was uh, things started to get very septic. So we thought, look, why are these things getting septic? Mm-hmm. Um, and um, we basically had a good chat and said that it was a very mutual decision. Mm-hmm. Um, so we wanted to have the pressure away from the cameras and the pressure away from, I guess, society in a way as well. I was going to ask you that. So is it different when the cameras are off? Are the conversations you and Sam having when the cameras are off slightly different to when they're on? Oh, they're, they are completely different. Right. Um, yeah, you don't see me <laughs> turning around and giving him a witty remark back. So, um, yeah, it, it, to be honest, it's... Um, yeah, what you don't see behind closed doors, and that's with any relationship, really. Mm. So, yeah, true. Yeah. yeah, and starting your whole relationship on national TV, that <laughs> makes a little, little bit of added pressure there. Yeah, just, yeah. Just, a, just a tiny bit. Yeah. So what did you think of Samuel when you first saw him? What went through your head? Oh, like, the first thing that I really noticed was his eyes. Mm. And I, those were one of the things that I really wanted in someone, along with... Um, eyes. <laughs> great, great <laughs> personality and all that. But, no, honestly, like, because I can't, couldn't speak to him... Mm. Um, uh, foremost, I saw his eyes and I was like, okay, they, they've, the experts have listened to what I wanted. Mm, I can drown in those. <laughs> yeah. 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 Nice, nice way to put it. Yeah. It must be the most nerve wracking moment though, just sitting there or standing at the end yeah. of that altar and waiting to see what's going to happen. It's, uh, yeah. It, Thinking, it why was, have I done it was, this? It was, <laughs> was nerve wracking, but um, I've said multiple times that, to be completely honest, it was Sam and I in the room. Like there was no one else. Nice. It, it, it was, um, yeah, it was a, a hair-raising moment. That's really nice. It. How's it felt watching yourself on TV? Uh, to be completely honest, I don't actually mind it because I've, um, I don't mind doing the whole Snapchat mm-hmm. thing. And you always review your Snapchats before you send them off. So <laughs> that, that, like, you get used to your voice and um, what you look like on, yeah, yeah, you're um, right, on a screen. Yeah. So yeah, it, it's, it, it's not as bad as what I actually thought it would be. Mm. Right, now I may have to wait until this weekend's episodes, but after, you know, you and Sam parted ways and then you had another conversation and things obviously turned, mm. what was said in that conversation? Let's give it another go. You know, what, what happened? It was literally, we, we, we wanted the, the pressure taken off ourselves. Um, I think it was very stressful for both of us. We were um, physically and mentally drained. Um, 
and I can't really explain it anymore. But um, he, yeah, we, we said it potentially could be the label of marriage, um, which is stupid because we did enter the show because True. of this. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we went for a walk down um, Queen Street and we could f literally see each other's mood change. Wow. And yeah, it was for the better. So oh, that's yeah, good. it's. Um, yeah, it's. Yeah, I guess watch the space. And does, does Sam, were his reasons the same as your reasons for like the whole splitting up at the beginning and then getting back together? Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. And that's what I mean. Like we put our heart on the table. So what were they? What were the reasons? Um, yeah, like I said, it was just stressful. It yeah. was um, just that whole Taking out your love life of, on national TV. A, yeah, yeah. And, and being and in a bubble. It, it does yeah. sound stupid, and I'm probably going to get doesn't a lot sound of stupid. No, um, not at all. crap for it. But um, they. We did enter ourselves in um, the show, and that's understandable because people mm. will be like, oh, what did you enter? But we didn't think that it was going to be this intense. We, I knew that. Um, well, I'm a very patient person, and I knew that um, Sam will soon see that I'm actually a motivated, motivated person. Mm. So. And uh, are you and Sam living in separate parts of the country at the moment? Yes, yeah, so he is... Um, in Auckland man yes and I'm living in Christchurch right so it's so a case of watch this space and see what happens I can't wait for this week <laughs> so it's gonna be good yeah. okay let's talk about some of the other couples those that are left because yeah. <laughs> uh, as you as you can tell you know finding love is hard yeah. um, you give it a shot sometimes it doesn't work who out of the ones that are left do you really One want it to work <laughs> Um, no to be honest like I've, all, I've wanted everyone to work right um, but obviously there's um, we things that they've worked out uh, between mm. them, and um, yeah, good on them. Um, mm. So yeah. I, I don't really like to talk about other people's. Oh, things. so the, the but reunion... Dan and Yuki, come on, they're just gorgeous. Uh, they're both, they're both so cute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and then hopefully they'll work out. So the reunion this weekend is going to be all on, really, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. All there's going to be a lot happening in that um, the episode. So it's. Is a bit of drama going on. Is there anything you can tell us? Um. Well, how was your relationship with Julia and and um, Dave? Because you know there were times where that was brought up as perhaps an instigator yep. with Sam in terms of some of the dramas of the relationship. Mm. Do you still get on with everybody? Yeah, most definitely. I do. I, I I'm a very friendly person, so I, there's no one that um, I've got to really do something really bad if I um, am going to dislike them. Um, and yeah, Julia and Dave uh, have been amazing support for Sam and I and I hope that um, we've been there and be supportive to them as well so nice. okay, cool. okay final question uh, would you do it all again uh, well like <laughs> it's weird because um, no uh, I, like no because we're we're happy the way that we are if it was um, a, a different result yeah, maybe. Nice answer, nice answer. Oh, hey, well, good luck. Looking forward to the reunion. What is going to happen? <laughs> Married at First Sight, New Zealand reunion screens on Sunday at 7pm. It's a 90-minute special, and you don't want to miss it too. Mm. If you've missed any episodes too, you can catch them now on 3Now.